Hi everybody and welcome back to the Willie St. Willie channel once again and well you clicked on the video so just guess what we're talking about today go on guess it's My Little Pony. Yes, that's right, everybody. Today we're talking about the one and only My Little Pony. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, well, stop lying to me. I know you know what that is, but I'll humor you. My Little Pony was originally an equestrian themed toy line made by Hasbro in the 1980s until eventually becoming a very popular children's show in the 2010s. But most of you are probably familiar with the 2010 show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now guys, I'm not gonna pretend to be a My Little Pony expert, okay? I did not watch all of the show or anything like that. I watched normal boy shows as a kid like Ed, Ed and Eddie and SpongeBob. Uh, I only really watched My Little Pony when my niece wanted to watch it, so that's how I know as, as much as I do now. You had all your cutesy little ponies like Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Now for the common man, everything I mentioned previously is about all you know of My Little Pony. But for people who've been on the internet for a long time, such as me, uh, you know it for other things. Now, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic defied demographics and had fans of all ages, most notably older boys and men that the internet came to know as bronies. Now, the bronies had their own little flavor of weird and depravity that everyone kind of knew about. Uh, need I mention clopping? It's called clopping, Dad. It's it's something every brony does, okay? And it's, every Look, every pony does it. But with almost anything that becomes popular having a very large fandom, there's going to be a wide variety of fan content that gets created. Some of it uh, more wholesome than others. I'm not gonna tiptoe around it anymore. Everybody knows that strange things are afoot with the My Little Pony fandom, basically since day one. MLP fan creations can range from very impressive and groundbreaking, all the way to things that are disgusting and depraved and just downright horrifying. And there's almost no in between, it, it's insane. Such is the case for today with the very popular TikTok alternate universe fan creation called My Little Pony Infection. Now the whole premise is kind of the same idea as the Island of the Slaughter, Total Drama Island, alternate universe I talked about on here, where basically someone took a children's television show and then made their own fan story, alternate universe that is just straight up horror themed. It's kind of weird now to think about it because I've basically become the grown man, the, the guy who talks about alternate universe series of kid shows. Anyway, now the main difference between Island of the Slaughtered and MLP Infection is that there isn't just one creator making all of the fan art and the uh, concise narrative. It's basically multiple creators that are either one, making their own independent story and fan art, or two, multiple creators that are just kind of just making whatever they feel like that's set in this universe and just kind of collectively dogpiling all of the fan art and stories on top of each other. So it's kind of a mess, really. So I'm not gonna be able to go over the entire story of MLP Infection like I did with Island of the Slaughtered. I kind of just wanted to showcase a few of my favorite ones or things I've just noticed first uh, while exploring TikTok. And even though the MLP Infection stories kind of vary depending on who's telling it, I've noticed kind of two elements that are always like consistently the same. And it basically is that there is some sort of unknown virus that is spreading across, you know, all of the pony land, equestria, I think that's what it's called. And it could be biological or like spiritual or magical, it kind of varies. Like there's different names for it. Like some would call it like maybe like a shadow virus. There's like different names, but there's that is like the premise. And two is that Twilight Sparkle is looking for a cure. That those are basically the only consistent elements. Everything else can kind of vary. So what does this infection do, you might ask? Well, uh, basically it turns My Little Pony into a zombie apocalypse with varying levels of body horror that is just frankly kind of disturbing. So I, let's just get into it, okay? The apple. What? Why did you run? Twilight. Good God, like dude, for such good artists, you think they'd be making. I don't know, 
something else. I don't know, dude. People are even making memes out of it now. So I guess that goes to show how popular it's getting, I guess. it's Those are just like quick little snippets I found. Is like I've seen videos that are like long parts. Like it's consistently like few minute long videos of them telling like parts of a story. Hey, hey, I'm going to go to the library. Do you want to come along? Um, no thanks. I'm gonna stay home. Okay, I'll see ya. Behind curtain number one is... Correct! You don't remember what she looks like. Hey, just make something up. Oh, what you made is gonna be. <laughs> and get on two. <laughs> like, hold up. I think this is my favorite one I found. Hold up. And they even made a uh, another one showing what um, the infected pony looked like. And uh, yeah, it's terrifying. It's like, dude, I, I... So that this was the first video of this I saw on my For You page. And this started me down like the rabbit hole of looking into them. And yeah, it was like three in the morning when I saw that. So it... Yikes, man. Is anyone out there? We're survivors held up in a warehouse. The zombies have overrun the city. Supplies are running short. Is anyone out there? Please, we need help. We're almost out of food. The zombies have been beating on the doors day and night for weeks now. Wait, oh, shh, shh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Island of the Slaughtered reference, question mark? Hmm? Just me? Maybe? This is how big it's getting. People are making entire, like, short films out of this premise. Like, this isn't just one-off, like, a little fan art thing as I've been showing you. It, it it's, and was, it's kind of impressive, really, if it wasn't, like, kind of creepy and disturbing. It, but it's, it's very impressive, just regardless. So, uh, for all those artists out there, uh, good on you, mate. Um, like, it's, God... It's something else. I'll give you that. It's something else. All right, let's look at more creepy fan art, I guess. Okay, this was kind of funny. This one's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, are people turning this into like Game of Thrones, My Little Pony? She's like Daenerys Targaryen vibes. Like, when this, like, why? But, but why are people like, there's just so much effort being put into these. Good God, man. This is some like Junji Ito stuff, man. Like, stop. Please, stop. She cuts her hair to avoid being grabbed. 
She has been the main lookout for the survivors. She had been bitten, but removed the infected leg before it spread. Okay, now, now you kind of see what I mean by there's just so much like lore people are just adding to this like people are making entire like character arcs for the ponies so like yeah <laughs> mlp is a kid show about ponies why is this fandom so horrifying dude people have been saying this on the internet for years i don't know where you've been man this is the tip of the iceberg of the true horror of, M of MLP band of man. Oh, actually, I think I remember her character. Um, like, is it Princess Celestia? Isn't she like the ruler of all the ponies or whatever? But like, it, anyway, dude, like how... People are cosplaying as MLP infected alternate universe characters. Like what? What? Like what? When, since when has this been a thing? All right, guys, as you can clearly see, there's just no way I can really do MLP infection justice with just how many artists and stories there are going on simultaneously with this AU. So... I just wanted to showcase some of the things I came across about this for you guys. And uh, but feel free to check out for yourself. Just go on TikTok and look up MLP Infected or look at any of the creators I showed in this video. And just feel free to just check it out for yourself, man. It's 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 definitely pretty interesting if you're into that. Like, it's, it's crazy. So, guys, hope you had fun checking out MLP Infected with me because I didn't. That is That was cr creepy, but... <laughs> Let me guys know what you think of the comments below and maybe even throw in your own favorite alternate universe from whatever fandom. I really don't care. Let me know because it might be interesting. Oh, and for everyone who made it to the end, well, thank you as always for watching, but I also was thinking about starting a vlogging channel sometime soon. So let me guys know what you think about that. It might be interesting, might be fun, who knows? Maybe throw in some ghost adventures in there, you know? And just in case I don't see you guys, stay safe and have a good one. Goodbye.